What is going on there guys? Welcome back to the career mode. This is an England special right here. If you've been keeping up with the Salford City career mode, you will know I took over the job at England about a year or a season ago. Um, there was no competitions in my first year, but this is 2026. We are in the World Cup Finals. Uh, I'm going to be doing this as like a bit of a separate thing. Uh, it's probably only going to be maybe one or two episodes, depending on how far we get into the tournament. But, obviously, it depends if you really care about the international you're more than welcome to skip it if you're not. But, I think this is just a, l a nice little um, add-on to the career mode. And also, to me as a manager, I've never really done the England. I really dig the England kits, so it'd be really nice. And also, what do we want to do? We want to bring it home course we do the FIFA World Cup the biggest international tournament you can get it's we have actually got a pretty easy group if you think about it uh, if you look at look this is my starting 11 this is the team I'll be going out with obviously Carl Lewin has got a red card most likely I'm even gonna have to go with Tammy Abraham or Ricky J Jones up front with Kane I don't know I'll have to look at Abraham's pace alongside Jones because I'm playing two up front Kane's obviously a bit older so he's not gonna have the pace I need to move out a little bit of pace and maybe I might go with Ricky J Jones in the first match but as you can see I've gone for a 4-4 four, 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 well 4-2-4 four, four, technically Sancho and Rashford are sort of playing as, as attacking cams slash wingers um, but I'm keeping them on there Bellingham and Foden are going to be midfielders Bellingham who did brilliantly in my Salford team Foden who absolutely ripped me to shreds in the final in the Champions League final if you didn't catch that I've got to apologise for the rage, but it was well justified. <laughs> if you know, you know. Uh, Alexander Arnold at right back, Maguire, Gomez as centre backs. I'm not that keen on Gomez, but there's not really that many um, defenders I could choose from, if I'm honest. There's Sessignon, but James Justin might get a game here and there, depending on how Sessignon does for me. Henderson is in there as well, he's my main goalkeeper. I really think we've got a real good chance. Um, I was thinking about maybe just skipping the group stage altogether maybe just um, simulate the first couple of games see how we do if we win the first game keep going um, but to be quite fair what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the first match because I've not actually showed you any England footage yet I've not showed you any England games I've not played any yet literally I simulated the whole qualifiers because it there weren't really any matches what really intrigued me so um, let's look here Tammy Abraham's got actually 83 pace not bad Mason Greenwood could technically play up front, um, but I do want an all-out striker right now. So I'm going to go with Ricky J. Jones on this one. I'm going to use my use him in there. Um, I'll put Greenwood on the bench. If Ricky J. Jones or Kane aren't working for me, I will just uh, bring either one of them off, uh, maybe uh, Abraham or Greenwood. Uh, I've got a lot of options on the bench. We are playing in the USA. What... I don't know how they're going to be because they've got people like um, Dest in there, Zach Steffen, Adams, Rayner, McKenney, Pulisic, Sargent. Bad, actually. Thinking about that, when the, all these guys have all got potentials in the 85 to 90 overall, that is, that is outstanding. To think of. I didn't actually think Rayner was actually a, a USA international. That's a, that's, that's a new one for me. Um, but anyway, guys, here it is the first England game we're going to be playing. Let's do this, guys. Let's get off to a winning start in the World Cup. Here we go. The moment we've been waiting for. We're getting this underway. A little bit of a... Just fit something to break up for Salford City career mode. Give us a bit of a break off that. But here we go. This is my first game playing as England. This is a big moment for me. Also, I am absolutely digging the new England kits what I've been in but as you can see there Turkey beat South Africa only by the one goal I'll have the actual anthems for England as well national anthem beautiful to hear we don't really show you the entire thing but I'm not too fussed about that Phil Foden who I've never ever played with in actual career mode so this is interesting 
some big names in that USA, and that USA kit is absolutely fire, I've got to say. Not bad at all, but they're looking pretty strong as well. Hopefully my big England team can get the job done. And if you didn't see it before, Jordan Henderson, Dean Henderson in goal for us. Session Gomez, Maguire and Arnold create a back four. And then Bellingham and Phil Foden are central midfielders in this one. Along with Marcus Rashford and Sancho out wide with Ricky J. Jones, who I think this is actually his England debut, up front with Harry Kane. After the season, he just had Ricky J. Jones. He definitely deserves to be here. I've not really seen any other strikers in England actually getting anywhere near him right now. So, they've got to be playing themselves, though, USA. Let's have a little look at their team. Zach Stefan in goal. We've got people like Weir in that on the bench. Well, those are very good players. Robinson, we've got Brooks, Long, Dest at the back four. McKenney, Rayner, and Adams. Big, big, good midfield that. Very good. Not too sure what number eight is. Sargent, and obviously Pulisic. This is massive. The first episode of the England career mode. This is a little spin off for the Salford one. Let's hope we get it off with a cracker. Yeah, this was Esto. Oh my god, what an absolutely terrible start. We have not been able to get a ball off them. Okay, this is terrible. We just play through is there. I can't I don't really have any complaints. Come on boys. Sort your shit out. Oh back to Rashford. Hurricane at the back post, but couldn't quite get onto it. Ricky J. Jones gets onto it. Gets it back to Rashford. Can he put it in? Oh no, he's right at Zach Stefan. But that's the first chance we've had today. Oh, thank God. Oh, bloody hell. Jesus Christ. We're actually getting tore up by the USA. Phil Foden keeps getting dispossessed in that midfield. Oh, my God, Rashford. Oh, what an interception. Robinson's trying to cut him off. I see uh, Ricky J. Jones in the middle there. Can he just pull us in? Very first England goal. The equaliser still on a play by uh, Marcus Rashford. Come on, boys. That's what I wanted. Get in there. Oh, Ricky J. Jones, the easiest goal in his England career. His first England goal as well. Absolutely stunning. We're back on level terms within, within a flash. Let's get on with this. Come on. Oh, good work by Harry Maguire there. Harry Kane. Oh, what a turn by Ricky J. Jones. And oh my God! He's just scored a double straight away. What a turn. He just took Brooks to the cleaners there with that pace and put it top corner past Zach Stefford. Look at that. What a piece of skill. He absolutely bamboozled Brooks. Absolutely stunning. Come on, Ricky Jade. That's from Phil Foden. Keep going and let's that go. Oh. oh, what a what an absolutely crucial interception there by the centre back. See Marcus Rashford there. Oh, he's got past Dest. Miss. It's a good boy, it's Harry Kane. Ah, oh, but he just couldn't get enough on it, and he goes wide. We got the player in front of him, just put him off enough. Sessegnon gets out a good header and he sets Rashford up again. Oh 
my god, Ricky J. Jones just nearly had a hat trick on his England debut. Oh, I know some of you would have raised some eyebrows when I showed you my uh, England squad. But honestly, this lad is absolutely amazing. I think he's playing really well with Hurricane as well. You're having that height. Hurricane's in there. Finds Harry Kane and Harry Kane! Oh, off the bar and he comes out! Oh, he's got to get over to him. Oh, he does well there against McKenney. Oh, what a tackle! Oh, no one can get it right now. Oh, come on, don't let him t put it in. Don't let keep it out, keep it out. Oh, what a good, what an absolutely brilliant save by Heat Dean Henderson. Oh, brilliant from Harry Maguire. Put that up to Jen and Sancho. Kane shielded brilliantly. Ricky J. Jones gets the hat trick. He is the man of the match. What a performance. What a guy. Oh, I'm so happy I brought him up. Obviously, we all know about him. We all know he can score. Jesus Christ, he's come so far. And here he is scoring a hat-trick in the World Cup Finals. But we are in the last two minutes of this game. Oh, we go through him there. Oh, that turn from Sancho. Kane. Is it one more? Harry Kane goes for one. So maybe a bit of icing on the cake. But that... Ladies and gentlemen, is our first win of the World Cup. We had to come from behind, but that man right there turned up with a performance of all ages. A World Cup dream. Come on. A match ball on his first England debut in a World Cup finals. Come on. Let's do it. We are feeling it in this World Cup. So we are moving on. We are facing South Africa who did lose to Turkey, so I'm going to simulate this match. I'm going to see how it goes. I'm going to simulate with my best team as well. So let's do it against South Africa. Hopefully we should be able to get a job done. And we do! Marcus Rashford and Phil Foden, we don't allow him actually even a shot on our goal. That is brilliant to see. Now we just need to look at their table and see what we're working with. Technically, we still need to get something from Turkey. What I'll do, because um, I don't want to spend too long on group stages, I more want to get to the next rounds. I'll visually sim this and see how we do. If I need to, I'll I'll get in. If we're absolutely smashing them, I'll uh, simulate to the end. So I made a couple of changes. Let's go for go first. I'm gonna visually sim it. So you can watch it. Um, I thought, honestly, I thought it'd be all wrapped up by now. But um, still, I think on our goal difference, still, I think we'd still go through. But I'd be shocked if we lost. Hopefully we don't completely mess this up. <laughs> Alexander Arnold's in here. Oh, brilliant work. Oh, Ricky J. Jones. He's going off in this World Cup, isn't he? Raheem Sterling's there. Can he keep it in? Yes, he does. James Justin. Declan Rice. Oh, and that's 2-0. Tammy Abram. Do you know what? I'm happy with that. Let's just let's just jump to result. 
They do get a goal back, but it does not matter. That is us through to the next round. Out of the group. Probably top of the group as well. Brilliant work. 9 out of 9. 3 out of 3 wins. Beautiful to see. But we are going to play against the Ivy Coast. I'm going to play this first knockout round uh, in this first episode. But then it's basically going to be a part 1 and a part 2 um, saga. And a mini, like... A, a big episode but split in two in part one part two and obviously just make sure I would say it's good if you check them both out just because if anything happens for, for the soul for career mode you're still informed but also it's a little bit of nice little something different for the soul for city career mode because it does involve a couple of our players also it's just not something nice for the England um, side of things we are playing the Ivory Coast and they have got a good team. So we've got to be careful of them. Um, the one thing I'm going to do, because especially in the USA game, Foden didn't really feel that nice. So I'm going to put Rice in there just as a bit of a a better player just to be there in the middle. Um, apart from that, I'm going to play the rest of the team. Get to play with Calvert Lewin for the first time. Never played with him in career mode either. We've got people like um, Halea there, Nicolas Pepe. This is the round of 16, so hopefully we can make it to the quarterfinals of the World Cup. Let's do it. Let's do this, guys. If I'm being really honest, these first few knockout rounds, I'm not too bothered about the entrances. I kind of showed you that in the first game. Let's hopefully get through to the quarterfinals of the World Cup. Got my, one of my best teams out there, far from a couple of players. But let's do it. Come on. Players down to Ryan Sessignon. Got to play inside to Calvert Lewin as well. Oh, I tried a bit of a sneaky back heel there. Kessie. Oh, we're playing right through the mid. What was that? We've done it again. Where we've just absolutely slipped. On them, they literally whacked out through the middle and managed to get a goal. Where was the defense? Where was Gomez? Look at where the hell was Gomez going? I know fucking Maguire came over to cover where he left. Fucking Gomez was off in his merry way. What the fuck was that? Jesus Christ, Gomez. Oh, fuck's sake. Gomez is really fucking me off already in this game. I got ruined. There it is. Calvert Lewin gets the equalizer. I had to sort of concentrate there. I really, really hope they update fucking Carver Lewin's head. He just still looks like a little boy in his head. In his head scan. This is why I've not used him. He just doesn't look right. He's got like a very manly man bun in real life. But this, he looks like a little boy still. But that is a real, that's a man's header right there. And we are level. Brilliant bit of work by Sancho. Came off the goalkeeper and, San and Carver Lewin put in the rebound. Brilliant work, lads. Oh no, Traore is there again. But what a save by Dean Henderson. This man is on fire right now. Jesus Christ. Oh, there it is. Dean Henderson. Get this. No, for fuck's sake. Right, he needs to come off. He needs to come off. I'm sorry. I should, I should have known this shit would happen. And I can't even take him off. Where's my centre back? I had Ben White there. Where's Ben White? 
Oh, for fuck's sake! He's a fucking dick! I hate Gomez! He is not playing again! And Henderson save! Fuck me, Gomez! You got a lot of making up to do! Twice you fucked up today! What was that? Why did it feel like fucking Rashford needed to fucking propel himself before he fucking ran? Oh, brilliant work by Sesson Young. He's got a bit caught up though. No! Billingham, why did you stop running? You making that run, you just stopped. Oh, but brilliant section by, I think that was Rice. Bellingham, oh, he's going, he's going a long way here. Yeah? And Bellingham, puts it away! Oh, that might be his first goal for England. I'm not sure. He may have got called up once before, but I'm not sure. But brilliant work. And again, we have to come from behind. And we get it getting the job done. Brilliant tackle by Harry Maguire. Oh, it's a, it's a fucking wet white. Tell me, I swear. Brilliant work by Henderson. Interesting prospect. The only one I, I didn't actually look at the other fixtures. I will look at him at the end of this game. I didn't look who else has actually got to the to the round of 16. Oh, look at that. Jude Bellingham's there. Oh, what a finish! 3-1! Oh, we just booked our quarter-final tickets for the World Cup on what? Oh, we've started. I told you. I'm going big or going home. Because honestly, I don't give a shit about the defending. I'm trying just to attack, attack and get all the goals. That is a beautiful finish by Jude Bellingham. He gets his second of the night. Oh, come on. We're putting Ivory Coast away. I don't know why he's asking me to bring on fucking Justin for Rice. I really, really did not mean to slide tackle there. I just shot myself. What a ball. Quick play. Oh, I was feeling it. Oh, that's a good header. And Mason Greenwood, who's very new onto the pitch, has got the pace to burn. And look at that, he's just going round Serge Aurier. And Greenwood! First time I've used him today. And look at that, he comes off the bench to score. I am in love already with him. The pace, the finish. Oh, beautiful work. I'm absolutely in love. Oh, come on, boys. We're through to the quarterfinals. No doubt about it now. Come on, lads. Oh, but boy's going to get closing down enough. Oh, look at that! Oh, bloody hell. Oh, the ball just ricocheted and got to Greenwood, but then Canate was there any either way, but it was offside. Oh, Carver and Carver play a favour, but it does not matter. We are through to the core fans, again thumping the team we're playing against. We're really, really good attackingly. Maybe I need to do something about the defence because Gomez still did not impress me one bit. It could have gone very different if we if Henderson didn't save our arse, but get in there lads. Come on, quarterfinals, here we come. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen. These were the round of 16 uh, opponents. Greece got beat by Romania 2-1. Uh, Brazil beat Colombia 3 that goes to nil. So it's Romania, Brazil go through to the quarterfinals. France beat Argentina, so 
I mean, I'm guessing uh, Messi's retired by now, and especially from international, so I don't think he's won a World Cup anytime soon. Germany beat Uruguay, Italy beat Spain, the Netherlands beat uh, USA, and Belgium beat Russia, so it's all the big boys, really, bar from maybe Romania. The rest, so it's all to play for, depending on who we are going to be playing. We will, we will move ahead just before we finish this, and look at that. The quarterfinals have already been drawn, and look at that. We maybe just got the hardest team in the whole draw. We have France. Ex World Cup winners, ex European champions. They have absolutely dominated the, na the national playing field. Honestly, look at that. Romania versus Brazil, Netherlands versus Belgium, Germany versus Italy. These are really interesting games. But France versus England for in the quarterfinals first spot in the semi-finals. Can we do it? Well, well, there's only one way to find out. But it will not be in this episode. I'm going to be leaving it here until the next next episode or the, the second part to this England uh, little side mission we're doing. Uh, but rest assured, the Salford City career mode will be back up and running in the next couple of days after this because I'm literally only doing this this World Cup and then that's it for the, for the international stuff I just wanted to do this as a little bit of a, a side thing for the Salford City career mode so I hope you enjoyed it make sure you check uh, out the rest of the videos until next time guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe until next time I'm the Hawkeye Puncher and I'm out <laughs>